Well, happening right now, the Illinois Supreme Court is taking up the Safety Act. It's hearing oral arguments in Springfield, and that's the law that gets rid of cash bail and makes police training stricter. A judge in Kinkakee said it was unconstitutional. 65 counties throughout Illinois filed the lawsuit. Then the Illinois Supreme Court put parts of the law on hold. Law enforcement across the state have said it makes communities less safer by releasing criminals. While those in favor believe many people are unable to pay bond, they add this makes people lose their jobs, housing, health care, and more. And we'll have an update in our 4 p.m. newscast. And some lawmakers in Illinois want to figure out if retired police can still have access to guns. One bill wants former correctional officers and state prison guards to have concealed carry clearance. Most states with these bills don't include prison guards. Some people say they're worried the bill wasn't reviewed enough. The lawmaker who introduced it says he's open to revisiting that proposal. He claims his biggest concern is keeping Illinoisans safe. And more funding could be coming to community colleges throughout Illinois. Governor Pritzker will be visiting campuses all across the state, and he's starting today at the Heartland Community College in Normal. It's to highlight his proposed higher education investments. This would give $100 million to community colleges, and that would mark the largest increase in funding in more than two decades. And workers in Illinois will be guaranteed five days off each year. Governor Pritzker signed the legislation yesterday. It says all employees will get one hour of paid time off for every 40 hours worked. He hopes it will help employees facing emergency outside of the workplace. Too many people can't afford to miss even a day's pay. But then crises arise, sometimes seemingly small, sometimes catastrophic. And they live in fear of losing income vital to their family's survival or other repercussions at work. When their car breaks down, when their child gets sick, when an elderly parent needs help. In just a few moments, that's all going to change for Illinois' working families. Seasonal workers, federal employees, or college students who work non-full-time temporary jobs for their university will be exempt. And those, this goes into effect in January of next year. Illinois is the third state in the U.S. to take this step.